The cost of living crisis is hitting the poorest and the hardest. And in places like Tower Hamlets in the east end of London, it's one of the country's more deprived boroughs. People are seriously feeling the pinch. Layla Hayes has been speaking to people in Tower Hamlets. So, Layla, what have they been saying? Well, Simon, even before the pandemic, Tower Hamlets had the highest rate of child poverty in the UK. And if you look over my shoulder here, you can see the skyscrapers and banks of Canary Wharf looming large. Money being made there and money being handed out by the Chancellor today. Well, I've been asking people here if they think it's enough. Well, I think it's going to make uh, a lot of difference. People are still struggling. You know, you should not be working and struggling. You know, we're not a sort of like a, a poor country. Is the government doing enough to help you? But it is not enough for people, I don't think so. I think it could be a bit more, especially for people that are retired or on low incomes. Me being vulnerable and disabled, it's like when I see my electric bills and all that coming together, I just get stressed out and sometimes it gets like depressing. Well, among those feeling the pinch at the moment are small businesses. This cafe has had a difficult pandemic and is now worried about the future. So, Mohammed, how have the last couple of years been for you? Well, the last couple of years has been a struggle, uh, a big struggle for, for us as a small business. Um, uh, we hardly, I mean, we, we're just about surviving at the moment. You know, for the breakfast, I buy eggs and bacons and sausages and etc. Uh, all these prices have gone up by almost 300%. Eggs has gone up from, from £20 to £45 a case. Uh, I can't increase my prices because I don't want to upset my customers. What could the government do to help you? Government, I mean, just encourage people to go back to work, probably, that would help, to go back to the office. That's another, that's a, that's a positive step for, for us as a small businesses, because that's the people we rely on. Um, and help us on basically the, the, the cost of living. Just say if I can get, we can get any, any, I don't know, help. Well, sadly, there was no help for small businesses with energy bills today, but the people here will be hoping that the money pledged for households will help them get through the winter. Because as we all know, there are more price hikes, price hikes to come in October. Leila, thanks very much indeed.